Welcome back, guys. My name is Jake Flynn, and this is Apocalypse Movies. As we cover, um, we do a little bit of a recap for last weekend's San Diego Comic Con. Um, I know that's been a few days, but there is a lot to talk about in the world of Marvel. And we are kind of spending um, the week breaking down each content that was released as far as projects go and um, spending a video each on each topic, basically. And today is dedicated to what if dot 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 question mark. Um, now, for a lot of you, you're going to have no idea what this show means, what it is, why the title looks like that, anything. Um, so a little bit of background. Um, the What If series is a comic book. It's based on a comic book. And essentially, the comic book um, twisted stories that Marvel knows. They, um, like as Kevin Feige mentioned on the on the carpet afterwards, the panel, um, he used the example of what if Steve Rogers didn't get the Super Soldier Serum, but rather Peggy Carter did. What would happen if she was the Super Soldier and and he wasn't? Um, you know, like. Uh, an example could be what if what if Thor wasn't worry, worthy, but Loki was, or um, you know anything along that lines, right? It's it's a what if series, basically. It's like a hypothetical: what would have happened if the actual thing didn't happen and something else did? And so um, it's definitely the most interesting of the bunch. Um, there are an incredible amount of possibilities. Uh, and you know, before I forget this, because it did just pop in my head. It is animated. It's going to be an animated show, and so it's not canon officially. It's just an animated What If series by Marvel, and they're going to play with characters and mythologies and stories. And you know, what if Black Widow, you know, was bad and never went good after her run? And um, it's it's uh, it's pretty remarkable. And so I think that you know, th th this has been teased for for a while now, and Marvel has mentioned it a time or two before. Um, and so it's very, very exciting that they're trying something like this, that they're kind of going out the box, uh, or outside the box rather, and, and just going to have some fun with it because this is, it, this is like, a, this is exactly what comic books are, are made for. And Marvel, the cinematic universe has, is a comic book on the big screen, right? It, the stories intertwine and the characters flip back and forth between properties. And, and so it just makes sense for them to something, for them to do something like this. Um, as far as release date goes, when it lands in Phase 4, um, it's coming out Summer 21, uh, and so we will see that uh, two years' time, um, and like I mentioned, it's going to be animated, and we don't know if it's going to be one season, two seasons, whatever, a limited series, but um, it will show on Disney+, Plus. it's not going to be a film, um, that'd, be, that'd be bonkers if it was a film, um, but... Uh, I do want to mention, during the panel, they brought up, or they didn't bring up any any actors and actresses, Kevin Feige kind of dropped it, it was a very quick segment of the actual panel itself, but um, I wanted to mention the names they had involved in this too, who were, who were going to come back and reprise their, their roles as far as voices, and it's a pretty big list, and I'm going to have the picture up so you can see, but I do want to run through them um, to kind of get your head going as far as what characters are going to... Um, be there and I'm going to kind of break it down on how it could possibly go as I go along and so uh, I'm just going to run you know by the list as it says Michael B. Jordan's Killmonger, Eric Killmonger, obviously it could be a matter of what if he was Black Panther or what if uh, he grew up in Wakanda right? Sebastian Stan um, we could do a what if series if, if he ended up as a super soldier and Steve Rogers was the one that became the Winter Soldier um, and so that, that would be very interesting. Uh, Josh Brolin as, uh, well, it doesn't say as Thanos, but more than likely as Thanos. Um, that'll be an interesting story to tell, what, how that's going to play into it. I'm not sure. Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. Um, maybe he didn't get the gamma ray, uh, the, not disease, but the, the gamma ray. And so uh, someone else became the Hulk. Um, Tom Hiddleston's Loki. Um, again, he could possibly be worthy for the hammer. Sam Jackson as Nick Fury. Chris Hemsworth, um, Thor, Haley Atwell again, like I mentioned earlier, more than likely a story of her as Captain America, because that is from the comic books. Chadwick Boseman, um, maybe he's Killmonger, right? Maybe he's, uh, I believe it's what, the Golden Jaguar, as they call him, so that would be very interesting. Karen Gillan's um, Nebula, Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye, Paul Rudd's Ant-Man, Michael Douglas's Hank Pym, 
Um, Neil McDonough, uh, which is one of Cap's Howling Commandos. And so uh, maybe he gets captured and becomes the Winter Soldier, or, or maybe he gets the serum, not sure. Dominic Cooper's uh, Howard Stark, that's another interesting one. Uh, Sean Gunn's um, character from the Guardians franchise, um, or possibly as Rocket. That could very well be Rocket, because he does mocap Rocket, and maybe they want to do that with him. Natalie Portman um, as Jane Foster, again, more than likely playing with the idea of her being Thor again. Obviously, that's happening in Thor 4 as well. Uh, David Dalsmalshian, um, he's from the Ant-Man uh, series. He He's one of uh, uh, Hank Pym's crew members. Stanley Tucci is the doctor from uh, the first Avenger that gives Steve Rogers a serum, and so that'll be interesting. Maybe he never went good and he stayed with Hydra. Uh, Taike Watiti, uh, hopefully as Korg. It does not say here, but hopefully as Korg. Um, Toby Jones uh, plays the character from the Captain America franchise, uh, Artem Zola. Giamman Hansu, um, again, the character from the Guardians franchise, and his name is escaping me at the moment. Korath, maybe, I believe it might be. Uh, Jeff Goldblum, um, obviously the Grandmaster from Thor Ragnarok, and hopefully we see him for Thor 4, but uh, that'll be interesting, a what-if series with him. Michael Rooker's Yondu, how can we not bring Michael Rooker's Yondu back, uh, especially in a project like this? And then Chris Sullivan, I don't, I don't know who Chris Sullivan's character is off the top of my head. If you guys do, shout it down in the comments, I'd love to hear from you guys on that one, and because it is escaping me at the moment. But, I mean, look, this is very interesting. It's very fun. It's a cool idea. Uh, I'm not going to say, like, I'm ecstatic to, to see this, but I'm definitely interested because they're going to be able to play with things and have some fun and give a different take. And it's going to be – it's on Disney+, Plus and so it could very well be, like, a kids-type show. But because it is by Marvel Studios and it's their first animated project, I'm very excited to see it. I am. I'm, I'm very interested to see what they're going to do, what characters they're going to flip, how they're going to flip them, etc., um, I love the logo. The logo is beautiful looking. It's a really cool looking logo and it kind of grabs your attention right away. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, uh, not a whole lot to go off here, here yet, but we are going to be seeing it in two years time and I imagine they've already been working on it for a while because it is animated. It's very easy to get guys in and out for a day's work of, of voice casting and, and voice work. So, um, but yeah, guys, I mean, there's our rundown of the What If series from Marvel Studios that will debut on Disney Plus in summer 2021. Um, look out for that as we kind of approach that. I know it's a while away, but we could very well see some, some stuff from it soon as far as like a teaser or, or images or whatnot. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, look out for all of our Marvel Studio-esque videos. We have a bunch of them up on the channel already, breaking down the likes of Black Widow and Blade and the Eternals and the WandaVision and Doctor Strange 2 connection, etc. And we have a couple more coming after this as well. And so, um, again, I am Jake Berlin. This is Apocalypse Movies. Um, thank you for joining me as always. Hit that subscribe button, like, and share. And again, as I mentioned, uh, leave some thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys on this one again. So, um, and, uh, you know, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, Jacob Bartley here. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out something similar from Apocalypse Movies, click this video up here. If you want something a little bit different, check out this video down here. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to Apocalypse Movies and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We always love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.